Shooting on 35 millimeter film does not need to be expensive. And today we're checking out a camera that can prove it. What's up everybody? So if you're trying to get into 35 millimeter film or you already shoot and you're looking for a cheaper option, the Kodak H35 Ektar half frame camera is gonna be an incredible option for you. Shooting on film is amazing, and it gives you that vintage, nostalgic look that everybody's after. But film has also become really expensive. With the H35 half-frame camera, you can now cut your negatives in half and get twice as many exposures. Okay, so on a regular 35mm camera, like this Konica C35, you would get 36 exposures. Your exposures would be 36mm by 24mm. But on a 35mm half-frame camera, like this Kodak H35, you cut the negatives in half, making your negative size 24 millimeters by 18 millimeters. So if you shoot on a roll of film that has 36 exposures, you're actually getting 72. You're still gonna get that vintage film look, but with the half frame, you're gonna get double the amount of photos and double the amount of money in your pocket. The Ektar isn't the first half frame camera in the world, but at around $50, it's one of the best budget 35 millimeter cameras you can buy. Before we look at some images, let's take a look at what's inside the box. The packaging for the H35 is very basic. You'll get this handy cloth case that is mainly used for dust. While it won't protect your camera from bumps or drops, it will protect your H35 from getting dust inside. You also get a wrist strap. I usually wear the wrist strap at all times while shooting with my H35 just so I don't drop it. The H35 doesn't come with its own batteries. You'll need to buy a AAA battery to get started. There's virtually no functions on the H35 except for the flash. The on and off flash ring is located around the lens. When your flash is on, a little red light on the back of your camera will turn on. To turn it off, just flick it to the right. Alright, so you're unboxed and now you're ready to shoot. Now you gotta choose some film. There's about a million options out there for film, but I recommend shooting with either ISO 200 or ISO 400. Once you've chosen your film, it's now time to load it into your H35. Loading film in the Ektar is super easy. First, you wanna open the door on the back. Then you wanna pop the little black plastic tab up. Then insert your film and then push the little black tab back into the film canister. You'll then pull a little bit of film out and then feed it into the other side. Once it's in the little slit, you can then spin the wheel. Spin the film advance wheel all the way until it stops and then close the back door. Once the door is shut, you can then press the shutter button. Advance the wheel again until it stops, then press the button again. Finally, advance the wheel all the way until it stops. The next time you press the shutter button, you'll get a good exposure. So now that you're loaded up with film, you're ready to take some photos. The operation of the H35 is straightforward. You press the shutter button when you're ready to take a photo, and then you wind when you're ready for the next one. So there's only one small thing that you gotta remember when you're shooting with the H35. It's that when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're actually shooting portrait instead of landscape. Remember, the H35 is a half frame camera. So instead of shooting a 36 by 24 frame like this, you'll be shooting an 18 by 24 frame like this. So just remember, when the camera's like this, you're shooting tall. When you're shooting like this, you're shooting wide. And that's it. So now it's time to look at some examples. To try out my H35 camera, I took a trip to Koh Lipe, Thailand. It's a small island off the southern coast and it's a beautiful place for vacationing. Koh Lipe was a perfect place to try out my camera. Along with me, I took my girlfriend Sydney and her brother Jacob. We went snorkeling, rode on some boats, and chilled out on the beach. And along with us came the trusty H35. For this trip, I shot Kodak Vision 3 200 ISO from my local film developer in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Shout out to Negative Film Lab. I knew we would be mostly shooting in the daylight, so that's why I shot a film speed of 200. When we got our negatives back from the developer, we were so happy with the results. Our shots in direct sunlight looked fantastic. Colors were rich with great contrast. We were even happy with the few photos we took with the flash indoors. One of the reasons that I love to shoot film is for all the little imperfections, and the H35 does this really well. Some of our images had light leaks, and others were a little overexposed. But those little flaws is what makes film so much fun to shoot on. 
The lens is a 22 millimeter f9.5. It's a two element optical grade acrylic lens. The shutter speed is 1 100th of a second and we found it to be just right in almost every situation. Some of our photos had a little bit of a jitter to them, but again, those little shakes just added to that awesome aesthetic vintage vibe. A quick note, there's a little bit of fall off in the edges of each frame. Objects tend to get a little hazy as they go towards the outer edges into the corners. But overall, this camera's dope. And I had a great time hanging out with Sid and Jacob on Colipe. So once you get done taking all your photos on your Ektar, you're then gonna wanna take the film out. First, you're gonna flip your camera over and push the little black button. Then you're gonna flip up the black handle on the top. Wind your Ektar until the click stop. Open up the back of your camera, pull gently down on the handle, then take your film out. Once you've taken your film out, you then wanna go to a local film lab to drop it off. A quick Google search to be able to find this for you. So that's about it. The Kodak Ektar H35 half frame camera is fantastic. It's made of plastic and it's probably gonna break if you drop it, but it's also gonna save you a ton of money. Film is super expensive and this camera is gonna help save you a bundle. Thank you guys so much for watching and a big thanks to Sid and Jake for helping me out with the video. Keep shooting and have fun.